Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design a simple and special tool, sheet metal screw. Uh, this is a special a sheet metal anti theft screw. It is a special tool and a special screw, and you need a special tool to unlock and lock. I hope you like it. So let's see how to do in SolidWorks. It is very nice screw. So let's start the sheet metal screw with anti theft. Select here top plane sketch and draw a circle. Keep the diameter 9.88 mm. Select extruded boss. Make reverse direction 9.7 and here choose angle 45 degree. That's it. okay now select this raw material first select magnesium brushed magnesium okay this brushed magnesium we will proceed with brushed magnesium and uh, select the top face sketch select here polygon and draw one polygon exit select one edge vertical now let's define Four point five three mm. Okay, and select extruded cut. Make the depth one point seven mm, and let's say degree twenty three degree. Okay. See. Fillet. Point one mm. Select first this edge. Select inside face. or select this all inside edges okay see here okay now again select this top face sketch normal draw a circle here quite bigger little bigger than this polygon 5.45 mm okay select extruded cut select here 9.7 mm and choose degree 60 degree now see it will cut only a small face okay see here it cuts a small face let's create one plane select this face upper face plane keep 2 mm and flip direction okay select right plane sketch normal select line and start to draw from convert it into an arc and connect with this line exit select these two points tangent ok
let's define this 1.5 mm okay that's it now let's define the distance from origin point to bottom Nineteen point two six four mm, and this distance from origin two point one eight mm. Now let's define this length also. Keep nine point eight mm, or just undo. Delete this. Define the radius. Keep seventeen mm. Okay. Now you can nine point eight mm. That's it. now the geometry is fully defined so select here revolve boss base select this vertical line as a axis okay now see let's create one more plane select the plane one plane 16 mm flip direction okay now hide the plane one select plane 2 sketch normal okay this face we want we want to create a thread here so first we have to make one circle keep the diameter 3 mm now select here helix and spiral height and pitch height keep 16.25 mm okay pitch 1.2 mm reverse direction and keep the degree 315 degree clockwise okay now select the front plane sketch normal let's make here vertical line exit one point one three one point five seven okay now here we will make some more dimensions Point forty five. Keep one degree. Okay. Now exit, and choose here swift boss base. First select the profile. then select the path see it's calculated okay now it we want to make little more edit make point 5 am okay and here also you can edit this up to 16 so that it will not go beyond the limit 
फिफ्टीन पॉइंट फाइव ओके दैट्स इट नाउ सेलेक्ट दिस पार्ट सेलेक्ट हियर बॉडी सेलेक्ट पॉलिश द स्टील एंड वी वॉन्ट टू चेंज सम कलर वन नाइंटी एट वन नाइंटी थ्री वन एटी एट ओके We want to change this head seven point eighty eight. Refresh. That's perfect. Now you can little increase sixteen. Okay. Sixteen. Again, you can little more. Sixteen point one. Okay. Hide this plane. Front plane is sketch normal. Choose line. Exit. Select here three point arc. Connect these two points. And okay, this one we want to cut. Select the distance from here to origin point. Two point nine one one five. Point one two two, and let's define this one point two three. Height make eight point six six. Okay. Take little up. Draw a center line go to feature and find out here revolve cut see the center line axis of revolution selected and is going to cut this profile okay see again choose front plane is sketch normal now here bottom we want to cover line start from origin point and convert it into an arc exit first define the length Point five nine four. Make little more. Delete. Drag up to. Okay. Let connect this. Three point arc. Connect these two points. Exit. Now select here the revolve boss base. Select the center line as a axis. Okay. Now it is going to calculate. Now see the point is created. Choose fillet. 
point one mm first select this face and bottom line. Okay. Again choose fillet. 0.05 mm and select this inside edge select the both the direction select here ok I hope it works my system is going to be slow ok now 0 0.02 and select this sharp edge this corner edge ok ok select this edge 0.02 mm now here we want to cut some edges choose front plane sketch normal select line three point arc connect exit keep 9 mm nine point eight mm okay and this one keep little out it should not go inside the body but it's up to okay now select extruded cut select D2 click 1 degree and for uh, 1 mm and 45 degree in one direction and d2 1 1 mm 45 degree see here okay now see here the cutouts this is the actual cutouts now let's mirror uh, make multiple number so circular pattern select here this cutout and here choose a circular face and make five number of patterns only ok this patterns for locking see here polish the steel but uh, color we will define at the last select this face sketch normal we want to make this 
anti theft so the tool will be a special design delete the half circle and define the radius 1.09 mm okay now select revolve boss base select this vertical line as the axis okay now that's it so this is the special head uh, you need a special tool to unlock and lock this screw fillet 0.02 mm and select this Point two mm. Now select this face sketch normal, and here we will write some name. Select circle. F select here for construction, and select text. Select here sheet metal screw. Four by twenty, and uh, anti theft. First, make the size small. Okay, that's it. It's looking perfect. Select bold. Okay. Size we can make little more. Point five five. Select here. Okay. Extruded cut. Zero point zero two. Okay. Now you can see here. So this is the a uh, beautiful anti theft sheet metal screw. You need a special tool to fix and unlock. I hope you like it. Please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. Don't forget to share and like our videos. Thanks for watching.